I'm going to show you what's inside of Singapore Mathematics, Primary Mathematics Standard Edition, Book 2B, and this is the textbook, not the workbook. The textbook version of these books is the colorful version. Things are already colored in for you. The workbook version is black and white, but is also very nice. The graphics are such that they would be very easy to color on your own, which my kids enjoy doing. So what you're going to find here, this is book B. So I already reviewed or showed you what was in book A. Um, and in book B you'll see we have addition and subtraction. This is review pretty much from last book. Multiplication and division, moving up. Book A covered up to three. Now we're getting up to four, five, and tens. More um, on money. Fractions. Telling time after the hour and before the hour. Capacity tables and graphs, and beginning into geometry. This is what the pages will look like. The textbook does not give a lot of practice. That's the workbook. So the textbook I like because it shows me quickly as the mom and teacher, okay, this is what we're going to be covering today. Yes, yeah, she already knows this, or no, she doesn't already know this. We need to do this, and we need more practice, and if we need more practice, we jump into the workbook usually, or, or one of our online math websites for the practice. Um, if I'm not sure if she knows a section and I just want to see where she is, I'll have her do the practice sections, but each section at the end, this is the subtraction area here, will usually have a review. Yep, here it is. So if I think that my child already knows what we're covering in this chapter, I jump to the review. Say, so, okay, and we bounce around. It's a good sampling of the different types of questions that were in the section. And if she answers it well, and I know she really knows the material, we move on to the next chapter. And otherwise, they get bored, and so do I. It's no fun. So now we're into multiplication and division. They give examples, and um, it's nice to use manipulatives with Singapore, which they ask you to do in the workbook, um, and in some of these, but mostly it's in the workbook. To, to touch items as you're, as you're learning the concepts of addition, subtraction, fractions, division. Uh, we had a pizza the other night. We definitely use that for fractions. At the end of the book, there's the, I think it's the final review here. Um, there's usually a math at home section. Let's see. Okay. Oh, here's a glossary. The glossary is very helpful. Um, my daughter can use it easily if she doesn't know what they, what do they mean by fraction? Well, she can go back here. She asked me this just yesterday. She can go back here and look and say, oh, and if she still does not quite get it, then I'll come in and explain it in a different way or pull out some manipulatives. Um, no, this one doesn't have a math at home. Perhaps that's the workbook that does. But here's the index. And that's what you're going to find inside of the Singapore uh, Textbook 2B Standards Edition. Um, we've really enjoyed this math. Please feel free to post any questions about Singapore or your experience and what's helped you. And I do reviews regularly on different types of curriculum, including Singapore math. So please subscribe and you'll get notifications of those. Thank you.